<laughs> um, I definitely did not start streaming on Twitch accidentally. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome to this YouTube live stream. <laughs> Today, we're working on some epic dragons. I love dragons. If you have, if you, if you have. If you haven't been here before, you should know. Um, it's very important to, to my character that you know uh, that I love dragons. <laughs> dragons are dragons are awesome. I love dragons. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream, everyone. <laughs> is it is it working now? It is working now. I am streaming on the right platform. <laughs> so I have. I have this lad. I have this lad. And the way I got this lad, I actually have a friend that was getting out of Warhammer. They were getting rid of their minis and just gave it to me. I just got I just got this this box of Stormdrake God. Wow! Hello Sam! And hello Cafe Caboose. Have a have a bummer. <laughs> hello Jim Schlein. Can't make stream if it isn't going. It was it was going. It, it's uh, don't, don't worry about it. It's a, a free dragon! A drag pop free? Pop free? So, um hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, actually, let me show you something. Let me show you something, wait! One of them. One of them is actually already assembled <gasps> I already have one and I don't know if this one came from this box but we'll find out <laughs> legally she doesn't show up in the first 10 minutes we can leave the classroom no <laughs> that's, that's a myth <laughs> you're not allowed to leave my classroom you will stay you will stay here until I tell you okay until the bell goes all right I don't you the bell doesn't dismiss you. I I dismiss you. I <laughs> you drink from the kitchen. Wow. Oh, kitchen classy. Alright, so it looks like it looks like this guy definitely did come from this box. We have some insanely big flight stand up. Oh, wait, damn. Hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> yes. Silly Aussie car hours. Why do you keep calling me a car? <laughs> Oh yes, car stream, car stream. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, there's some huge flight stands. These are pretty cool, actually. They feel way sturdier than than usual flight stands, which is good. It has a slot and a ball. At that point, I don't know why they made the ball. Why they didn't just make it a slot? But I guess you can snip off the nub if you want to pose it in like any direction. Mmm, and flying stands that don't look like they'll literally snap in a second. Yeah, I know, right? Like, this is a thick flight stand. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not really ugly, like the Heldrake and like big flight stands that are like across this. I hate those. They're so, so chunky for no reason. <laughs> Four seconds in and we're pegging a dragon. Hey! <laughs> Oh my god, P. Greener, look at the- it's the boys! It's your boy! Look, he's on stream, he's living his best life! Look how happy he is! Age of Slugma! <laughs> yeah, what if they have these flight stands in anything else? If they made them... If this is the first kit that has them? Because I've never seen them. Ever. Favorite part of that myth is that there's nothing stopping anyone from legally leaving a classroom in the first place. Yeah. School policy that says when students should be in class, nothing to do with the law. Ah, interesting. Also, if you're an adult at school, um, there is nothing stopping you from using your phone in class. Uh, if you, if you're under 18, this is something my mom told me. She's a teacher. Um, you did come to the box. You thought the instructions were still in it. Well, they're not. <laughs> Um, no, I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be a fun challenge to try and assemble it without any instruction. Sorry, I'm going on a tangent first. <laughs> uh, about school. 
where um, my mom my mom told me she's a teacher that um, uh, if you're under 18, the teachers can you know have more have more influence on you. They can just take phones from you legally. <laughs> um, but if you're over 18, they're not allowed to take your phone from you. They're stealing. <laughs> so if you're so if you're one of the like older school students, if you're 18 and you're still like in high school or whatever, they can't take your phone from you. Mm. Not that you should be using your phone in class. <laughs> uh, Adepticon reveals. Oh my god, yes, Adepticon reveals coming. Age of Sigma coming. Age of Sigma. Age of Sigma four. Age of Sigma. Fourth. More Sigma. 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 Who's hype? Who's hype for Shrugma? So if you're so you're saying if you're under 18, your phone is legally allowed to leave. Your <laughs> your teacher is legally allowed to take your phone from you. Also, why is it? I just realized the chat box isn't working. Oh, hold on. That's why I fix it. <laughs> it's right there. I fix it, guys. Anyway, <laughs> it's just Sigma Rats vs Fantasy Space Marines. Yes. <laughs> Ground Marines! Require Iron Warriors Codex? <laughs> Cringe. Space Marines. Give us Shrugma! Shrugma Ditch! Yeah! Shrugma 4th Edition! Give it to me. Also, this guy doesn't have a rider yet, which is kind of pog. Um, which is good, because I, I don't like the riders on the dragons, actually. And I want to do a bit kit bashing, maybe. Mayhaps, mayhaps, a little bit of kit bashing. Either I will put the rider on and give them reins, because my biggest complaint, my biggest complaint with this kit. Put me in the chat box. It's totally fine. All of this is in your head. No one is actually in chat. No way. <laughs> actually, technically not stealing, but yeah, you can yoink shit at legal age. You can't. You can't yoink your shit. In at legal aid, yeah. <laughs> okay, not stealing, but so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually technically okay now. <laughs> um, my biggest complaint with this kit is that these these riders are not holding onto the dragons, <laughs> and they're holding gigantic lances. Like those are gonna be like heavy as shit and look how like easily he's just holding that giant lance um but this dragon's gonna be flapping around and going side to side and like why have they got a shield on a dragon anyway so <laughs> either there's two options there's two options of things that could be going on here either they have those stormcast thunder thighs Literal thunder thighs, they're just squeezing, they're clenching that that uh that seat. <laughs> that saddle, that's what you call it. They're clenching that saddle so hard that they don't fall off. <laughs> or they're fastened some other way. If you know what I mean. <laughs> You know, this flight stand might be a little more accurate than you think uh, with the Stormcast, is what I'm saying. Thunder thigh, brother. <laughs> Gotta have a big lance to do big poke, yeah. Like, I can understand, I can understand it like on a horse. I feel like a horse is easy. It's only moving in, it's only moving in a, in a horizontal plane. It's not going up and down. I feel like it, it, you could ride a horse without holding on. But when... You're going like up and down and like on angles and stuff. Dude, you're gonna fall off. What did you mean by this? You will never know. <laughs> Cheese stealer cults. Oh my god, Cheese stealer cults. Had me at women in plate armor and thunder thighs. I know, right, dudes. That's why Stormcast way cooler than, than Space Marines. <laughs> Muscle mummies. Dude. It's that easy. <laughs> I have these- these things were in the box as well, but I have a feeling we're like some sort of sprue for this, but like this is so elaborate. What is this? Like... Did this come like this? Like what? 
Why is this so intricate? Like this fits perfectly in here as well. What did they? What did? What did? What does this mean? <laughs> Why is such a big piece of transparent plastic? Mm. If this is a battle for that, that's different. It's different. It's, it's so weird. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna figure out how to assemble this dragon without instruction. That's what we're gonna do today. And I, I've come prepared. <laughs> I have not one pair of clippers. This is my favorite clip pair of clippers, by the way, but they're going rusty. Um, they were like really stiff. They were really stiff, like something got stuck in them. And so I put a little bit of oil in the joint. And now oil won't stop coming out of it. <laughs> like I only, I swear I only put a teeny tiny bit, but look. Can you see that? There's like liquid coming out the side. So it's not focusing. There, look, there's liquid, like there's oil just like oozing out the side constantly. I don't know why. Um, and it's going all like rusty at the bottom. I don't know. Oh, it feels so bad. I, I don't want to scratch that. <laughs> Nurgle's clippers. <laughs> um, these have been my favorite clippers. They've stayed sharp for so long. Um, but I probably need a new pair. I also have a second pair of clippers. <laughs> <laughs> Citadel Clippers! Yippee! Which were the first ones I got. Uh, before I, before I discovered those ones. Um, and then, and then another pair of Clippers! <laughs> um, from, from, from Pinguine. With the, with, that donated with the, with the rest of the Stormcast and stuff. Now I have two pairs of, is this? Yeah, this is Citadel Clipper. Two pairs of Citadel, official Citadel Clippers. And one pair of uh, God tier, uh, Tamiya, I think? Yeah, Tamiya clippers. They're the best. Hey, Fox, you look different. What? Fox, why do I look different? Hmm? Huh? Classy teacher the secret ways of WD-40. <laughs> why WD-40? I have, I have vegetable oil in my cupboard. I just use vegetable oil. Okay. <laughs> So three pairs of clippers and three pairs of glue. <laughs> um I don't know I don't know how I end up with this much glue, but I, I have I have three bottles of glue. Three pairs of glue? Hold on, that's not three pairs of glue, that'd be six glues! Never mind. Three bottles of glue. Um at various levels of, of, of fillage. So I've I've been living off these for a very long oh, for a very long time. I haven't had to buy plastic glue in a while. I don't know where they came from. <laughs> mm. So yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to tackle any any sort of, of clipping and gluing that that this kit will will require of me. Um, I think I'll still stick to my my tiny ones. Oh my god, dude, the difference between these two, the clipping. This hurts my hands. Like I, I was using them before, just like squeezing them a couple times. There's, it's so, it's got so much resistance. My hands would get like tired so quickly using these ones. Tamiya ones. Oh, snip, 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 <laughs> So much, so much lighter. So much easier to squeeze, and so much like finer. I don't know. These ones are just so big and clunky. Anyway. Why wash with none when you can use canola oil? <laughs> no pain, no gain. I look. I think I will gain a lot more miniature assembly if my hands don't get that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have to stop stream because my hand hurts. <laughs> and I also have a, na a nail file. I have a. We have a mold line remover. An actual. Mold line remover. This is also from Mr. Penguin. Um, I don't know. I don't think this is the official Citadel one because that one is like hella overpriced and also way bigger. This is cute, and it's also got like a sort of filing surface on the side, though it's like really fine. Oh, it does kind of work. You could you could file something on it. Interesting. Whee! Okay, let's 
let's start clipping some things. So, ah! I dropped one of the pairs, one of the clippers. So we're down to two pairs of clippers. <laughs> good thing that, good thing I have more. It's from Citadel, from the starter kits. Oh, from the starter kit. Oh, that's so cute. Honestly, starter kit. Probably better value than buying the the sprue mold line remover on its own. <laughs> At least you get other stuff with it as well. Use veggie oil to keep my pet mice running wheels spin smooth as a kid. What? And the fat fucks just slapped up the oil and we're back. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Don't lick the oil from my clippers. Okay, I'm gonna clip your tongue up. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I had an idea for a, for a little a little challenge as well. It's probably been done before. Um, if it has been done before, tell me. I'm pretty sure I've seen a video for it before. But painting a miniature like only using the GW starter set and the colors that come in that. I think that'd be a I think that'd be a, an interesting challenge. And I've heard that a lot of the paints that come in the starter set from GW are like really bad. <laughs> like they're always really gunked up and like old because the starter sets sit there for ages, like way longer than paint pots usually sit on a shelf. So I wonder how many paints you you would have to like you would not be able to use. <laughs> I don't even know what colors come in this starter set. I know they've got a mini null noil pot, which is very cute. Okay, you know what? Because I'm not even using instructions, it doesn't really matter like what number these parts are. I'm just gonna start flipping shit. <laughs> we'll find out. Wee! How badly do you think this is gonna go? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Is it that bad that my Quark White is dark grey? Dark grey. Yeah, Quark White is like so hit or miss. Like, I've had some Quark Whites that have been pretty good. But other times I bought it off the shelf and it's been porridge from the moment I bought it. Paint set so one whole generation of Eldar model release. That paint set saw one whole generation of Elder Model release. What? As in the paint set is really old? I see. <laughs> Are we finally gonna get more Elder at Adepticon? Oh my god. Surely... Was it the... 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 the oh my god. Warp Spiders? Didn't we... was it like the... Like 20th anniversary of warp spiders, aren't they? Like 30th anniversary of warp spiders? Are we. Do you guys think they'll give us new warp spiders? <laughs> What's the stab at Elder? They don't get shit, right? <laughs> Cracks why an Avalanche Sunset. Some of the worst. Avalanche Sunset? Mm. My Avalanche Sunset has lasted for ages, but I've only bought one pot. Um, but it has turned to porridge now. <laughs> like 50% of my Citadel paintings have turned to porridge recently. And I don't know why. Probably from the heat, or I, I just happened to not close the pots properly on all of them for some reason? I don't know. Probably be more primaries, but my soul craves Mark II Heresy Marines. Mmm. Are we gonna get much for Heresy? Do you guys. How. How high is the hopium for plastic and mech? Or like anything ad mech? Either, do you think they will give ad mech more than just stilt boy? The worst. <laughs> stilt boy, worst model of the year, honestly. I like, I didn't have like. It's, it's, I hate it. Was stilt boy last year? Stilt boy was last year. Right, I think so. I'm chopping out all the bits that aren't the Stormcast as well. I'll deal with that later. 
My idea was to either just like remove the saddle or it probably probably the easiest thing would be to like add some reins in the hand of the Sonka. Good night school tomorrow. Good night. At least we got to see a little bit. <laughs> By the way, do you have any death bomb reveal predictions slash hopes? Surely Shrugma. We have mutated rats modeling 40k before new elder model. <laughs> Kit Bash is still boy with dreadnought legs. Dreadnought legs. They're gonna be like really thick. <laughs> Thunder thigh skidari. You doubt they'll get anything new for a good while. Really? You know what? I'm I'm praying for the elder flares out there that that they do get something this identical. <laughs> it will be very sad if not. Um, for classy's sake, I I I really hope there is a plastic admic revealed for Horus Heresy. And. I think it's unlikely, just based on the fact that the plastic Imperial Guard came out like no time ago. <laughs> Legit are hoping for plastic releases of Horus Heresy Meganigan. Hey, Yeah, you see what I mean? It'd, it'd be hella hype. It'd be hype as heck. Okay, I'm noticing there's multiples of the same parts, so there's probably going to be options. Um, I'm gonna have to make sure I I actually choose the right bits that fit with the right up <laughs> new Skaven models for Death Complete. Surely there's gonna be new Skaven for a depth, like a hundred percent new Skaven. And either teasing or announcing AOS 4th edition. Oops, I've already scratched the model. <gasps> That's why I have a mold line remover! Oh my god! Mold line remover? Damn, it's kind of handy. Doesn't get rid of nubs though. Alright, I don't know where to start. We've got a lot of bits. We've got a lot of bits. Um, There's like half a body here. There's the other half. Surely that's pretty safe to put together, right? Like, I don't think there's anything. Or oh, maybe like... <gasps> Hail? Hail go in like that. This is gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. Things are unlikely too. I put it on my bingo card as more as a hope than something I actually think will happen. Yeah. Horace Heresy stuff will probably actually be two new space marines that are identical to only others. Yeah. Isn't that just like Horace Heresy as an all as like as a whole? Just all space marines that look like each other. <laughs> Like, isn't that the appeal of Horus Heresy? <laughs> I don't get it, man. <gasps> if Dark Mechanicum releases, I'm buying onto that shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Unfortunately, Admech is one of the prices. Tri prices, points per army to build. Yeah, Admech is crying. Admech is shitting and crying. And they've already gotten their codex, so there's no hope that they're gonna get better rules to make it better. Like, there's no hope that they're gonna actually, like, change anything. They're just gonna be way really bad points per model for the entire edition for the next three to four years. Admech is such a sad situation. I love Admech as well. I love the Mechie boys. The oh, holy moly. They they browse gate price gouging them them models like why? They're not that, like, I get they're a lot more intricate than, like, other models, but still? Like, one Dune Strider, a single Dune Strider in a box, when you can run three in a unit, and you'd have to buy nine of the box, and the box is, like, 70 bucks for one Dune Strider, and you need nine of them. Dude. At least if you make a mistake, you have a chaos dragon ready to go. <laughs> a mutated dragon. Oh yes. But yeah, if Dark Mechanic can release, holy shit, dude, I would, look, I'd be on that shit. 
instantly in a heartbeat. As soon as I have money, then. <laughs> I ironically think of getting a celebratory crew just to send it to you. Fuck you! <laughs> I don't want. I want animal crew ever again. Stinky crew. What is a celebratory crew? I haven't seen it. Like Car says, because it allows you though, to get their space marine addiction out of the way without flooding 40k. <gasps> True. Is this empty? I'm squeezing and nothing's coming out. It's pretty low. I think it's just full. I think the nozzle's probably clogged. Alright, let's get the spider tank and the old one. Yeah, the old the old star collecting was so good. You got like the cool Admech spider tank. The dune crawler. Now you get lame dune rider. Hover box. <laughs> you wanna see another duo box? At least one uh, at least uh, one with Wait, what? Well, at least one we had was Elder vs. Casmarine. Oh! Like one we had in the past? That's pretty cool. What about... What about an Elder... and... um... Admech box? <laughs> Where Elder actually get a new model. Admech is actually reasonably priced. <laughs> Dude. That would be fantastic, but GW would never do that. Guilt <laughs> of the glue bottles, machine spirit. Chat. At least do something fun. <laughs> Let's give this a shot. I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna be careful. Mm, how can I be careful about this? There it goes. We're burning. Burn in the glue. Oh, there it goes. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, it's coming. You heat it up like at the middle and it sometimes it does like a little flame flow like little poof don't touch the nozzle now i'm kidding <laughs> it cools down really quick because it's just like a really thin piece of aluminium like it's not gonna it cools down like in no time it's already foolish fun perfect all better Burnt yourself doing that a bunch of times? Oh! <laughs> wow. I never burn myself. Ever. It's still not coming out! Oh my god, this is so cringe. But, you know what? Screw the nozzle. We're going raw dog. I'm getting the last- I'm getting the last of this plastic glue out! If it- Kills me. Hold on. I think it might actually be stuck like inside. It might be kind of dry. It's coming out like kind of thick. I think it's just kind of old. <laughs> Not bad if it's still out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went from miniatures to micro blacksmithing. <gasps> oh my god. Imagine that. Miniature blacksmithing. Yeah, I think this glue is just kind of old and dead. Okay, 
Good thing I have more! <laughs> Certified third class. <laughs> Is this one gonna be unclogged? Oh yes, this one works. This one works beautifully. Perfect. Alright. First step that I've come up with. Step number one. <gasps> you know what? Maybe someone in chat can pull up the instructions online. Um, there's a whole Reddit for uh, for Warhammer instructions. Someone could pull that up. Don't tell me if I'm doing the right step or not. But you could just see how close I am to actually follow the instructions correctly. <laughs> I had to walk on Barry for a bit. What did you miss? Arson. Yes. <laughs> Glue sniffing, arson, the usual, you know. <laughs> Alright, it's mold line removing time. You know the mold lines on the new models are like so freaking good, like there's like no mold lines ever on new models. It's getting like so bloody smooth. I, I don't even, I don't even need this tool. God, DW is... DW is, is like making their own tool useless. You know we need to put mold lines back onto miniatures so that they can keep selling mold line removers. I don't understand. <laughs> Love some good glue sniffing arson. Oh yes. I wonder... I wonder what would happen if you set like a whole glue bottle on fire. <laughs> how how combustible is is, is plastic glue? Mm. The models are crispy. Oh yes. All right. Second step, numero due. I'm gluing the tail together because I saw that the tail goes in the body. Look at that. Beautiful! Oh, there's something there. What is that for? What is that hole for? Is that for the legs? I didn't think about the legs. Oh no, there's, there's spots here for the legs to go. There. Leg! Oh my god. Dude, you don't even- you, We do not need instructions for this. Hey, the dragon in fire. <laughs> what is that hole for? <laughs> you just got the scout squad kill team, and damn, they were so easy to clean up. Yeah! Pega glues the head on the ass. Chat. This is fun. <laughs> Dude, chat's gonna. You guys wouldn't tell me if I made a mistake. <laughs> I bet. I, I would not trust you guys if you if you tried telling me what the instructions were. You guys are gonna make me assemble it wrong. What, what is that for? Why is my dragon got a, a hole in his bum? <laughs> Why is there a hole in his bum? Mm. Is it supposed to be a bit? Like this this one's got like a like a lump. <laughs> oh, I know this one's got it as well. Oh, that's just. Oh, that's just the. That's just the. The hole for the thing to go in. Oh, that's just the hole for the flight stand. Okay, but then why is that one got a. Why is that one got the little square in it and this one doesn't? I'm missing a bit, aren't I? What am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. All the bits left on here. Oh! Wait, there is this piece. Which looks like the perfect square hole for this to go in. Yeah! Okay, I'll figure it out. That's the hole for the thing to go in. Oh my god. Found the trailer hitch connection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be an orb piece. Yes! I, I figured it out. 
and the orb. That's such a silly looking bit. That's a silly looking bit. Borb. Borb! Alright, and how does this go in? Let me figure this out. Maybe I shouldn't have put the body together already. I think this was supposed to go in first. <laughs> Hold on, I think I can like slide it in. This is fine. Oh. Hold up. This is gonna work. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely supposed to go in first. There's like two little mm, niches. Niches? Mm, not notches. That's the one. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm putting it the right way. I got it. I got. It, I, okay, I figured it out. I need to. I need to put the. I need to put the glue in. There's no thing to go in on, on dragons. Sorry, Forrest. What? Are you tell me. Dragons don't have a. Oh? Huh? What? Oh! That inserted so smoothly. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There we go! Fog! And then I can put the tail on. And then we got the, the square hole! Yay! The square hole for the square bit. Let's go like that. And then there. Yippee! Also, I got exci exciting excitement to talk about. I spent this whole weekend sitting at the library being productive. And I've Finished writing the script for my next video! Yes! I can finally, I can finally work on it. And I think it's gonna be my longest video yet. Um, like 20 minutes. If not like 30. I hope it's not 30. <laughs> Here, clocker. <laughs> oh, no. Are there any cold? Kobolds and Sligma? I don't think so. I don't think we have Kobolds. Speaking? Mm -hmm. They breathe fire, would they also fire? Fart fire? <gasps> fire farting giants. I... I'm going to say no. What's up with this leg? This leg doesn't fit here at all. It's like a... that's weird. We got arm, arm. I think this is the only other leg. Does it go back? Oh, this one goes all the way back like that. I guess. Yes. They'd have to call them kobolds <laughs> or something. Is kobold copyrighted? Or just to avoid a lawsuit? You know, if Hasbro just picked up a 50W. Folded into Hasbro finally. If, if DW gave into Hasbro, maybe they could use Kobolds and Warhammer. <laughs> it's oh yeah, Skinks kind of fit the small lizard. True. Small lizard guys. The Kobolds are like gross and weird. <laughs> skinks are like actually just cute little lizards. Kobolds are something that have existed for ages before. Oh, really? Kobolds. Kobold isn't copyrighted, which is exactly the problem. They can't have genetic fantasy names. Oh! I see. <laughs> um, it's not an orc, it's an orc, actually. Actually. All right, now we're gonna figure out which claws go on which 
switch coat. <laughs> um, that's definitely, that's gotta be a hand. That also looks like a hand claw. Um, this is one, one big claw. Oh, that one goes there. Okay, I got it. Yep. Kobolds are meant to be sprites? Wait, really? I'll find a kobolds are actually cool salamanders. That's funny. Practically here you pushing up some glasses with that actually. <laughs> you can imagine the glass shine as I'm moving it up my nose. Mm -hmm. All reptiles have clockers and no wieners. Bad dragon is not law accurate. Huh? <laughs> All reptiles... Reptiles don't have wieners? Hmm? <laughs> There's a habitual kobold playing your D&D. Your latest of dragons are not gross. <laughs> they like live in like swampy wet areas. That's gross. In like little cave dungeon things. I'm not getting to claws. <laughs> Tell me what the kobold clocker looks like. Uh. <laughs> Love how now the exact same race exists in four different settings, but depending on which setting you're in, they're orcs, orcs, or orcs. Oh my god, <laughs> I was not expecting this deep lore. <laughs> I need to know how the dragons reproduce for research purposes. I need to know if the dragon is lore accurate in this fantasy universe. I need to know how realistic this dragon is in real life. I need to know what this knob means. <laughs> I'd rather. Japanese style kobolds who are just like dog people. Oh, None of your kobold characters never got laid, so you don't know? Oh my god. Big kobold and giant. <laughs> hmm. Watching Delicious in Dungeon was such a fun surprise to see a Shiba person. What? They're actually just like dog people. Because kobolds already kind of look like little, little dogs. These are the ones that I've seen in 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 Dund D. Japanese pig orcs. This is a pig orc. A reptilian. It has no dangly bits. What? How does it reproduce? <laughs> is it like a fungus? Like, like an orc. <laughs> a pig orc, or pork, if you want. True. <laughs> Kobolds are extremely inconsistent. I think the original mythology were basically just goblins. Yeah, I've seen some really goblin-y looking kobolds. In old D&D they were dog people, in new D&D they're lizard people. Now they're rat- and wow, they're rat things. That's really weird. Cloaca is basically both. Lizards do, do lizards not have a have a have a, have a sex? There's no female lizards, no ma male lizards. <laughs> you don't want to know. Are lizards woke? No way. We live in a society. <laughs> Orcs from the animated Lord of the Rings maybe are superior. Biology! Yay! They never taught me this in biology. Um, okay, the arms. 
let's see, how do these arms go on? Oh, maybe I should do the wings first. It looks like, looks like the arms might kind of connect to the wings. Oh yeah, there's like a big side bit that goes on first. Alright, 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 alright. I'll figure this out, I'll figure it out in a second. Uh, <laughs> Pathfinder cover is a legit one of the best creature designs in modern RPGs. Oh. So like the way it cloaca work is that it is there the butt, the main parts and woman parts are also hidden in it. All reptilians have cloacas. Basically an old purpose hole. <laughs> Interesting. Work lizards. <laughs> okay. How do I let's figure out how does this bit go on? Oh, it looks like there's another arm bit. Like goes on first? <laughs> Stormcast, Dragon Assembly, and Cloacaro. Hmm. Yeah. This is an educational stream. Oh, this one goes down! <gasps> okay. And, um. <gasps> goes like that! Oh my god. Curse stream. <laughs> I've got so much free mental space, not having to follow instructions. I need to I need to fill that that mental hole with knowledge about holes. <laughs> A little bit of mold line removing. Just a cheeky little, just a little bit of mold line removing. Easy peasy. They're still dragons. Yeah, I'm. I'm learning. I'm learning about the models I am assembling. I'm. Le I'm learning. I'm learning a little bit about about dragon. You're right though. Bad dragon is bad dragon is not more accurate. Hmm. Mental clock. <laughs> There's holes. The hole's natural enemy is the pile. Mm. <laughs> you love cobalt. Just a little guy. Yeah, I love cobalt. They're very cute. Always the punching bag of level one D and D. Hear it. <laughs> Four little guys. They're just trying to go about this little day. What's your favorite faction in AOS slash 40k? Hmm. Hmm. Stormcast. <laughs> Probably. Just because they have dragons! Stormcast, but just for the dragons. And that's it. That's why I did Stormcast. I talked about Stormcast dragons in my bit for Mr. Bones' lore video. I actually learned lore for my beloved dragons. Yeah. Tau, because Mexico. Oh, I do love Tau as well. I do love my Tau as well. I don't think I love dragons more. <laughs> Still need to watch that. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good video to stick on in the, in the background. Um, I tried watching it. Oh, sorry. I just jiggled the camera. <laughs> I tried like watching it like attentively, like actually paying attention to it, like sitting on sitting on the couch, 
watching it. Um, and I, I was falling asleep. <laughs> like, it's a. Uh, it's surprising how similar so many lore channels are in the style. It's just slideshow with talking and the, there's only so much of that I can watch. <laughs> Hello Sam! Hmm. Stormcast have dragons and women! Dude, no. Best faction. <laughs> I do also like lizard men though, because they have dinosaurs and dinosaurs are always like dragons. And they have no silly humans in the way. Like the Stormcast thing. <laughs> I do really like the armor and stuff of the Stormcast thing. So there's two different neck options. Which is interesting. Is it like a little head floof bit? He's got like a really... <laughs> He's got a really dented head. <laughs> He's got that like gamer headset dent. You know what I mean? Look at that. <laughs> it's got the gamer headphone dent. Mm. Don't think anything will ever beat Admech. Admech always are really cool. Mm. Maybe even the dragon will be a woman? Well, dragons can't be women, apparently, or men. It's just gray. How did Trinity Dragon taught me wrong? There's no male or female. It's just a hole. <laughs> hmm. Yes. I like troll armies. Any army I can do shenanigans with is good to me. Yeah, the 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 Sigma Oryx. The Oryx have some some fun little some fun little shenanigans. Scaring this dragon people can be whatever they want. So woke. Dragons have gone so woke, man. <laughs> Where? I swear there's supposed to be a head fit. Oh! <gasps> there's two more tiny claws. Mm. It all swarmy aliens in pretty much any context, and it's absolutely criminal. I've never had a full Tyranid army! What? I mean, a swarm tyranid army is, is is pretty hard. It's a lot of models to paint. Oh, I found it! Oh, it's so small! It's so cute! It's just got a little cat! <laughs> oh, this is the name. We have a, a box of little guys. I got when I was 10. Oh, I still have a box of um skinks that I need to assemble. My lizard men. Um, and I keep wanting to summon them when I'm playing Sigma. I get, I, I keep getting enough points to summon them, but I never have a unit to put on the table. So I need to, I need to assemble them. But also, I want to 3D print a bunch of skinks because I want to make a skink army. <laughs> I want to make an army just skinks, full of skinks. And there's no way I'm buying 200 skinks from Games Workshop when they're an old model that will probably get replaced at some point. And there's some really cool skink sculpts out there. Hey, little cat! He's got two little horns! Yay! Playing as or versus Skaven is never boring, especially Skyry. Maybe the rat player explodes, maybe you explode. Maybe the judge and the table explodes. <laughs> yeah. Rats are, rats are silly. Rats are silly. I think... Uh, they're gross. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't play a rat army. I'm not a big fan of rat. It's smelly. And addicted to walk stone. <laughs> they're um 
They're wild. They're wilden. Glyphids, Zerg, and a car from Neural Section Helldivers 2 have given the gem of Tyranids. Krothics in d and I've never heard of those. I need a dry Helldivers. I haven't watched a single video of Helldivers. I haven't consumed any Helldivers content at all. Uh, I think it'd be. I want. I want to try playing it. There's two. Okay, there's two different neck options. They look almost exactly the same though. I'm just gonna assemble both and see what happens. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe he'll have two necks. <laughs> Zinch dragon. Hmm. Kairos, but is a dragon. Hmm. I I I really want to play more Lethal Company as well. Lethal Company was so much fun. We need to do we need to do Lethal Company stream again. I can't believe Lethal Company wasn't like nominated for Game of the Year or something on like Steam. The Steam thingo. Alright, so there's that neck that goes. <gasps> oh! I was wondering what that was. That's the. That's the tongue! <laughs> and it slots into the dragon. That's kind of gross. Is the company with more company mod? Oh yeah, yeah. We 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 got a bunch of mods. <laughs> we we got a bunch of mods. Is that neck? Okay, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, chat. And then is this neck? Oh, this one's like it's pointing down. That's cute. Oh, I saw a really cool like sculpt. Where someone, like, instead of the flight stand, I think it was on a hell drake, made like a big stream of fire, and like that's what was holding up the dragon to the base. It's like a giant stream of fire. It looked really cool. I think that'd be really cool to do. But, um. Actually, I don't think it would be hard. I could get like a clear rod and then cover it in, in fluff, like I did with my, with my town. Idea? I'm gonna do this head. Once you get a good snort of that premium warp stone, you never get back. Oh. <laughs> mm. Honestly, I don't, I, don't think I, I don't think I can pick a favorite between Sigma and 40k. Like I love, I love my Stormcast, and I love my town, and I love my Tunit, and I love my Lizard. <laughs> I feel like I'm obliged to say Stormcast for Age of Sigma because I have so much Stormcast. <laughs> um, with 40k, I think Tau because the Tyranids, Tyranids are cool, and Admech are cool. I just think Tau. <laughs> Tau Mex greater than Admech Mex. And I'm not even making a Tyranid army. I think my mechanical Tyranids are cooler than actual Tyranids. So. <laughs> I think Tau is my favorite 40k. Fond.mp4 metal landmine. <laughs> I, I still haven't stepped on a landmine once, a single time. I'm, I'm so good. I'm a good. I'm a good. Help take it. Uh, I'm a good employee. I'm a good employee to the company. Uh, I'm a <laughs> yes. I'm a. I'm good lethal company. Mm. 
That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. No way. Alright. Wingies flapping down. There we go. It's it's kind of strange that the wings have like this hole in them as well. I don't think I don't think I really like that, that design choice. I don't know what the purpose of the hole is. More holes! We're back onto the topic of holes. <laughs> but in the wings this time, why does the wing have holes? Like two little like little grippy points. I don't know. They look like the perfect size where you can like stick your legs in there. Like it's like a <laughs> it's like on a motorcycle where you've got like the front seat and like the passenger seat. That's like the passenger seat on the on the drag. <laughs> Would it be like tickly? You think if you like stuck your finger in the hole? You think it would be ticklish, like like tickling the dragon's armpits? <laughs> How do you think I'll paint it? Mm. How am I gonna paint it? I'm actually not sure. I think I kind of want to do them in like different color schemes. Like have one red one and like one orange one and like one blue one. Cause. They're like they're like lizard, like dragon. They don't they don't all look the same. Like little lizards. They're colorful little lizards. And there's like both there's Karazai and Krondus. And I, I wouldn't be able to decide to do them either Karazai colours or Krondus colours. So why not both? <laughs> you can make a little little baby Karazai and a little baby Krondus. Or I could do like a mix, like they didn't fucking how to train your dragon when when they they had the baby dragons. They were like white and black spots. I could do that. I could do like blue and orange. <laughs> anyway, uh, you'd also love to just go full Inquisition. Almost dropped money on a ton of Tempestus science to be Inquisitorial stormtroopers. Oh, oh. Isn't that something people were talking about? Like maybe getting like Imperial agents or something at Adepticon? I don't know what that means though. Like a new faction? Like make the age. I hate that noise. I keep- I'm just like trying to remove the mold lines and it like makes a click sound when I reach the end of the claw. You hope so? Yeah, I'm sure you I'm sure you didn't do that. And that was pretty cool. The 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 Imperial agents are Imperial I don't know, is, is that what they're called? The the Inquisition guys that you can get in, in Warhammer. They killed him by yelling <laughs> by being a waffling streamer at least twice in my <laughs> Hey, I saved the ship, though. <laughs> Mecha Monkey and Demon Host the new models. Mecha Monkey. What is Mecha Monkey? Huh? Was that in like a kill team or something? It's ringing a bell. Sounds like an Underworlds thing. This music is so hype. Alright. The orangutan guys. Is multiple? I guess it's like that. Okay. That's what Elder are called. Admic. <laughs> The Mega Monkeys. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, let me put this arm on first before we get in. Before we getting too deep with this wing. I'm actually speeding through this. This is going so well. I'm 
suck it to all the believers that thought I was gonna make a mistake. 70% of people in our polling said that Pega would make a mistake assembling this dragon without instructions. Well, 70% of you are wrong! <laughs> I'm just too good. I'm fucking galaxy brain. Galaxy cat. Galaxy cat. I'm sorry, Pega Speedy is a crime! No! <laughs> You're assembling too fast. Broken law. Don't worry, I'll just I'll just keep assembling faster. You'll never catch me. You can't keep up. You simply cannot keep up. Oh my god, Cave Haley. <laughs> YouTube Haley. Hello, YouTube Haley. <laughs> You know, you're the only one, like, perpetuating this, this, this YouTube chatter stereotype. Are you sure it's not just a, a you problem? <laughs> that YouTube chat is silly ongabongas with stick. <laughs> a cheddar? No, don't throw a stick at cheddar! Cheddar is not prey. Cheddar is a door. Cheddar is friend. Cheddar is friend. Cheddar, Cheddar, Cheddar's gonna go over here. Cheddar's gonna go go into the corner. You're gonna you're gonna hunt him for food. Don't hunt him for food. Cheddar is adorable. Uh, the Twitch caveman arrived. Yeah. You're right. The only the only caveman in chat is. From Twitch. Hmm. It's true, and I'm never gonna stop. I think it's funny. <laughs> Unless I get bored, then I will stop. <laughs> it's funny until it stops being funny. You're right. That's so true. <laughs> Is he banished again? No! Cheddar is adorable! Cheddar's not banished. He's chilling in the corner. He's hiding from Haley Snaily. He's trying to. Hunt him. <laughs> you to be fair, we on YouTube chat are who started the combo about dragon parts. That's an intelligible, intel, intelligent conversation about anatomy. And not just going hee hee. Funny hole. <laughs> it's where it, it was a, a smart. Intellectual conversation. You can't even contest gay man brain allegation. <laughs> I've learned I've learned one thing this stream, and that's more than I learn on a Twitch stream, so <laughs> Look at that! Look at that blue boy! Dude, that chest is like kind of built. He's got, he's like, look at him. his chest is kind of big, not gonna lie. But look how big his chest is, and look how thin the like stomach waist is. Dude, that, that, that <laughs> chest to a hip ratio. This dragon got, got the, got the ideal hourglass physique. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, this is what peak physique looks like. <laughs> The Borzoi proportion. <gasps> Borzoi? Really, guys. Toad is pretty cute for real, for real. He is! Say sorry. Sorry for trying to hunt him. There you go. Good. He should be sorry. I am missing a little, a little Stormcasty bit. He's smaller than I thought he'd be. He's, he's pretty small. There's a little emblem. There. Yeah, it's the one with the with the riders. There's oh, there's like the big ones, like Parasite and Crondus. They're the big character ones. They're huge. Yes, I do have them. Think of cheddar, mozzarella, parmigiano, reggiano. There we go. 
Hey, it's like a little a little stamp. A little a little steel. A little wax seal to mark the completion of the dragon. Dude, that was easy! GW, I'm making new kits too easy. I'm, I'm putting it, I'm putting my foot down. This kit was too easy. I didn't even need the instructions. And it's perfect! It's perfect! Not a single mistake. Everything went in beautifully. I need this dude's gym routine. <laughs> Be a dragon, flying 30 minutes, dive bombing 20 minutes. <laughs> you got the sticker? Oh, it came way after the mug and shirt arrived. Oh, really? Well, I released the sticker after them. That's cool! Hell yeah! Just need to figure out where to stick it. Sticker bomb. I know, laptop. <laughs> My laptop and my notebook, those are my those are my go-to places for sticker. Also, my uh, my Warhammer my Warhammer carry bag kind of is like sticky-ish. I wouldn't put my favorite stickers on it, but I, I can stick stickers on it a little bit. <laughs> can you do an army of nothing but the two big dragons and some smaller dragons? No! Unfortunately. Missed a bit! I did not. <laughs> <laughs> that goes that goes in there, that's it. I'm missing the Stormcast on top, but I'll deal with that later. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with him. You own no laptop. <gasps> Not customizable enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I wouldn't own the laptop either. Uh, if it weren't for uni. Having one is very convenient though, and I love my laptop actually. Um what was I gonna say? My laptop lets me go to the fuck off to the library for two days and finish writing a script. <laughs> um, no, unfortunately you can't. You can't have an army with the two dragons. Let me have a look. Damn, it said 18 plus years on the box and she did it in under one hour? Yeah, dude. <laughs> let me show you, let me show you something cool. <gasps> this is this is the big lad. This is the big lad. And this dude, this dude is chonky. I've been working on him on the side. Uh, my side chick, <laughs> you could say. <laughs> and I just need to do the basing now. He's almost done. Um, and I I love him. This is Crondis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a cool space ring dragon. Yeah, thank you. Let me let me zoom out so you can actually see the whole dragon. There you go. Yeah, I did a little reel on my Instagram. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should go follow me on Instagram. I did a little a little a little short little video montage of painting the the galaxy. Um, I also have a video. I have a whole video about how how I how I paint my galaxies. Yeah, look at him. It's the lad. Yeah, it's your lad. I this is this is is your lad. I've 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 given him I've given him the the love that he deserves. By the way, how do I do mocap in the videos? Uh, a webcam. <laughs> It's actually webcam mocap. It's really janky. Legit beautiful paint job. One of my best. Thank you. I also think it's actually one of my best paint jobs as well. I've... This is the third time I've painted big galaxy wings. First I did it on Magnus. Then I did it on... No, first I did it on a demon prince. Then I did it on Magnus. Then I did it on Krondus for a commission. And then I do it on this Krondus as well. I'm really proud of that one. I tried doing a planet with a ring around it on Magnus and it didn't go as well as this one. I'm really happy with that one though. Like the little the little shadow sort of around it. I think it makes makes it work a lot better. Every time, every time I've painted the galaxies, it's it's gone better than the last. I actually added like a little bit of texture to it as well. Those planets aren't like a smooth, super smooth gradient, so I added like sort of ringy sort of patterns, like Jupiter. 
like how Jupiter has like sort of stripes. I added sort of stripes to that. Looks a bit more, a bit more realistic. Hmm. I, I really love, I really love this like shooting star. I like, I kind of did it by accident. Like I did this one by accident and I was like, dude, shooting stars, that would be sick. And then I did, I did that one underneath as well. Hmm. Yeah, the whole boy. <laughs> yeah, but did I get a 3D model uh, for my character and put it into another program to do the motion? I did, I did. I'm not gonna go over the full setup uh, on the stream because it's a lot. <laughs> it's like three different programs talking to each other, and there's definitely a better way to do it. There's definitely better ways to do it. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> So I don't think you should even take my advice anyway, if I do tell you. Wait! There's a bug! Oh well, I guess he's... I guess he's living on there now. <laughs> Jupiter doesn't have stripes? You think you're flagged? Hmm. Flag. Who put flags on Jupiter? <laughs> Be interested to hear how you pull it off these days. Um... Uh, one of these days. Oh yes, yes. Maybe I'll do a short. Um, there's 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 videos out there on different on different ones. Trying to figure out how to do full full play in VR using mocap and 3D modeling. Oh, the 3D model I, I made for free. There's like a I forgot what the program's called, but like the, the there's like the VTubing program where you get to make like V it's it called is it Vroid? I think it was Vroid. Yes, Vroid. I used Vroid to make the model and I did some custom textures and um, it won't work. I guess it, I guess it would work in VR. Um, you can't export it as like anything other than a VRM though, and you have to like convert it if you want it. But anyway, <laughs> and it's really jank. <laughs> You're like a full Shakespeare play. Oh my god. Well, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna make anime characters and. <laughs> 3D 3D models of anime characters, you can definitely try out Vero. Um uh, one easy way of doing mocap with a webcam, there's a there's a program called Kaleido Kaleido 3D or something like that. That's probably the best way to do it. Um it's a little bit laggy on my browser. The program Oh yes, the program that I was using, like, actually broke. <laughs> I think for Windows 10, so I had to go back and find like an older version of the program. I've, it's called 3D Pros Tracker, but I you, you need to link it to VC Face, and it doesn't it doesn't do mouth, it doesn't do mouth tracking, it doesn't do eye tracking. It's <laughs> which is why I have a mask on my on my model for my videos because um, it, it doesn't do any mouth tracking. <laughs> And it's why I also never blink. <laughs> and I'm using an old version of the program where I can't even move fingers. Like my, that's why, like, you don't see it that often, but like the, the hands are like, always like that. The super jank. <laughs> um, mocap is expensive and this is the best way you can do it. For, I, 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 I could at least do full body tracking for free. If you don't need full body tracking then there's a lot more you can do. Oh, hold on. There's these little claws still. Way to take limitation and make them look like artistic choices. Exactly. Exactly. It was all it was all the plan from the beginning. <laughs> and in my first video you can see that I didn't I didn't have full body tracking, I just used the upper body tracking, and that one had like lip syncing. And I didn't have a mask. I thought full booty track was cooler. Anyway, it would be cool to get like a full mocap suit, but that's fucking yeah, expensive. <laughs> Unless someone feels like gifting me like seven thousand bucks, it's not happening. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow and tomorrow. <laughs> I have these little claws. I don't know where they're supposed to go. Am I am I missing claws? Am I missing something? 
Oh wait, this is the one that's already assembled. Hold on. Am I missing any claws? Oh yes! <gasps> oh my god, there's a single toe. I don't know if you can see it. These giant wings are getting in the way. There's a single, there's a single little toe. That I need to put on. <laughs> Why don't you just put that on the foot in the first place? Why do I need to glue this singular toe on? So we're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, is this a is this a a play reference? A Shakespeare reference? <laughs> I was not one woman born a woman. From my mother's womb, untimely wipe. Theatre kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Let me glowing, glowing dragon toenails live on the stream. Ooh, dragon toes. There we go. Yippee! Now he's got all four toes. <laughs> and the Mechanbear. <laughs> Stand by. To be or not to be. <laughs> Mr. Gripper. No! I did not miss a Gripper. I had to fix that. There we go. Now it's finished. For real, for real. He's so cute! I love him so much! I love how he's just like a little handful of dragon. <laughs> I love how the wings are like like bowl shaped. Like this is an, it's a nice like cup dragon. <laughs> Dude, imagine like a chalice that was like like dragon like cuddling a like with its wings. I don't know. <laughs> From now on you should be known as Toad Galua. Mm. Better than two liquor, I suppose. <laughs> it's not a handful until I finish gluing on his hand. Ah, oh, so true. Well, it, it's, done. it's done now. The two little brothers! And now you may kiff. <laughs> the mouths actually fit really well together. I think I think they were made to be. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's how dragons reproduce. I've learned that that's not how dragons reproduce. It. Doing this thanks to this stream. <laughs> Hello, you can't wait to watch this stream and be overtaken uh, by my intrusive thoughts to buy a new AOS army. Fog. <laughs> my battle share included four box sets and two battle forces, and I really should be doing uni work. Didn't know the stream was NSFW? No! My streams are never NSFW. We're always really, really wholesome and family friendly. <laughs> Kissing! <laughs> I'm done. I finished. I finished with the dragon. Okay, what do I. What should I do? Let me put them, let me put them down. Oh, there's also only one base. <laughs> There's only the base for, for one of them, so I'm gonna have to just kind of cut cut an oval out of something. <gasps> the scandal before marriage. Oh my god! I love them. Oh, these are gonna be a nightmare to transport, but they're so cute. Can I get? Can you, can you just get like a like a cool a cool? POV close up. <laughs> I'm just, vertical stream. You have to you have to rotate your phone to enjoy the stream. <laughs> Look at that! The 
dragons and big popper dragon behind them. <laughs> Vertical stream. Next, you make them hold hands. No, they can't hold hands. The one's got its wings down, the one got its wings up. <laughs> Let me get some good lighting. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you clip the kissing. <gasps> Heresy. No one can know. No one can know. Hold on. Let me get get them in focus. As if that's the problem with this shot right now. Look! Look at him! <laughs> How about... Oops. Oops. Oh, I, keep, I keep moving everything else. There we go. Uh, um... Look at that! Oh, we're now a TikTok live stream. <laughs> welcome, welcome to my TikTok live stream. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's a pretty cool photo. I think. I think that'd make a pretty cool photo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screenshot that. I'm gonna stick that on, on, on my Instagram. There you go. <laughs> These models look cool, but acid transport. Oh yeah, dude. These are gonna be. These are gonna be. Uh, a right old pain in the buttocks to transport. Um, but you know, there's this company called Feldher that makes really, really cool carry cases. And they're the carry cases that I use. Um, you know what? That would be a dream fucking sponsorship, honestly. Feldher. They're a German brand. And they make um, custom cut foam sheets for different models. And I think they have ones for, for, for the dragons. Now we know which one is the dom. <laughs> I'm using a phone. No, I'm not using a phone. This is a webcam. I'm using a webcam. <laughs> we work on making 3D printable insults for GW bases. Or easily gluing in magnets. Oh! Yeah, I've seen this. There's, um, those exist. Yes. Bought a giant metal box with handles to carry Necron army. Just drill magnets and big clay base and transport. Yeah, but then you need like a really tall box. But I suppose, yeah. No, I've seen a lot of people do that. Like magnet box. <laughs> metal box. Hold on. But, um, yes, yeah, so actually, I, I use and recommend Felder all the time. It's great. Let me show you. Let me show you a little bit about feldhood.net slash pegadeco. Okay, I wish. There we go. So they've got like generic shaped ones, but then they've always got, look, like this one. Cut. Um, oh, look at that, little dino. Um, where's another custom one? Where's another custom one? I have one for magnets. Is it too expensive? They, they cost a bit. I think it's worth it though. It's way cheaper than a fucking GW carry case. You know how much foam costs. Oh yeah, no, I. it's probably like overpriced as well, but it's still, still cheaper than a fucking GW case and they're really good quality. Um, and once you buy the bag, obviously you don't have to buy the bag again. You just can buy the individual foam trays that you need. And they come in different sizes. Markup is insane. Magnets for life. Alright, you can stick with your, with your magnets. I love my foam case. And it's... The thing I love as well is that they have a backpack. Because... I find oh there we go look they got they got Cronus and the dragons look at that oh and it's got holes for like some other stuff as well they got one they got one for Karis like Cronus and they got for the dragon and then the base slots yeah it's not the most efficient it's very handy um but yeah I love I love that they have a backpack option because I think it's it's annoying to carry something around in my hand. Um, cool. Oh, I have a backpack. 
And this backpack, unironically, I've used it for so much more than just like carrying foam trays. It's it's just like it's like the most basic backpack, and it's great. It's just a giant compartment, which is great for traveling. I you can fill this shit up with like a week plus of clothes. <laughs> German engineering distinct look of superiority. Yes, ludicrously expensive. Okay, I think it's worth it. I love it. I love it. You can stick with your your poor person magnets while I have my fancy backpack. <laughs> um, oh, and yeah, it also goes like compacts really flat, so I, I can just shove it in my closet really easily. Um, but look how many trays it fits! It fits so much shit! I love it. <laughs> I, I love this bag. Um, and this is like the only backpack option I could find. That isn't like a carry bag, yes. Now I get into the beat of a flexing arc. <laughs> Flexing my 100 euro bag. It was, it was good. Also when I when I got it they had like a they had like a deal that was like a free shipping to Australia if I if I bought 100 euros of stuff. So this fit perfectly. Um, also, this is the price like for the bag and all of these trays. Just saying. Well, Chaos Demons Nurgle bundle sort of thing. The bag itself, I think, is like 30 euros or something. Yeah. Yeah. Slap a Supreme sticker on it, and you're good. <laughs> no way, dude. That, that is not. No, that does not cost. As much as a Supreme bag. <laughs> or a fucking Gucci. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Anyway, I'm gonna make I'll I'll I need to I need to make another another buy at some point. Soon. We have to pay for shipping now. So I have to I was gonna jump in with a friend and we're gonna do a big big order. Hmm. Buy that 100% if I went to more life games? Yes! To be a person of high class can see the worth of these bags. <laughs> Imagine walking up to a 40k tournament with a Gucci bag and that's your carrying case. <laughs> no way, dude. I would. I would fucking beat their ass. <laughs> Also, um, oh, they have wait services, sponsorship, and tournament support. Oh yes, I've seen that. Custom products. Oh yeah, they do custom frame cutting and stuff. Um, competitions. Hold on, no, not contact. That's not what I wanted to do. I swear I saw <gasps> jobs. They're looking for designers. That's me. Wow. Just saying. <laughs> Hello. 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 You need someone to design some phone trays for you? I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> yeah. People with ideas? I know, right? I have those sometimes. Graphic designer, yeah. People with ideas. And it's freelance. I could I don't even have to move to Germany. I don't even have to learn German. <laughs> and working student slash intern. Feel free modeling, 3D design, 3D construction, e-commerce, business studies, design, graphics. I could do all of those things! I'm overqualified for this position, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tick, 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 tick. Alright. I'm going to work at Felder, guys. Goodbye. Anyway. <laughs> My cane case is a Mary Kay rolling bag. Your bag, your wife found at Goodwill. We don't have Goodwill here. Isn't that like a like a thrift store? I think like a secondhand store? What is a M Mary 
suitcase rolling bag. Suitcases are, are pretty neat. Pretty neat idea for transporting stuff. I used to have, uh, I used to know people that would have little suitcases full of carrying like their magic decks and stuff. <laughs> this? This is you put your you put your minis. They don't just like rattle around in there. That's kind of, that's kind of a fun bag actually though. I saw a really cool bag design. We're going completely off topic. Warhammer's over. <laughs> Goodbye. We're doing our bags now. Oh my god! Have you seen this new bag from uh, Louis Vuitton? Oh my god! Yeah. It's a makeup bag. Yeah. Because motivation applied to German companies is concerning. <laughs> they just, they, just, I, I don't know why the Germans just need me. <laughs> Not any of those, but it is pink. Oh, is it like this? I, I assumed when you said rolling bag, like, I, you meant like a suitcase, like that. That would make sense. Oh, for carrying minis. Well, um. Yeah, what was I gonna say? I found this really cool one. That one! Okay, we found it. We found the one. It's pretty cute. That's a pretty cute bag. I was gonna look up a uh, bag that carries cool clothes. Um, <laughs> that's like any bag. Um, I saw like a, a really cool bag on TikTok there. Oh my god, the latest trends on TikTok? That's crazy. This! Oh! It's like a. There! Like this! It's like a, a bag, but like the bag itself is like a, 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 like a clothes compartment. Right? So imagine you have your suit like that. It's like strapped in and you like zip it up. And then it, you like fold it up into the bag. So the, 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 the clothes are like in the walls of the bag. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty neat idea. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I'm trying to find the one that, like, I actually, I actually saw. This is me taking my minis to the game store. <laughs> Gotta get him in there. Get him in there. <gasps> Dude, look at that. Yeah, this is what I mean. So you put your you put your clothes in there, so they lay nice and flat, and then they roll up so they stay neat. This one's got like credit cards, in it. like a slot for shoes as well. That's why that's, that's mad. Garment bag, Etsy Australia. God, Etsy makes me so sad. It's been so overrun by drop shipping, and it makes me very angry because it's so hard to tell the difference between what what's a drop shipper and what's an actual handmade object. Oh. That's, that's very fetch. Mm, very trendy. Yes. Is Lazda a thing in Oz? Or is it a Southeast Asian thing strictly? I haven't heard of Lazda. Dropshippers have ruined Etsy. Dropshippers have ruined the internet. I hate drop like dropshipping. Dropshipping is so annoying. Anyway. <laughs> big, big tangent. Big bag pen. Um, speaking of bags and uh, suitcases, um, I'm gonna be going to PAX Australia. Hopefully, um, we're gonna be almost certainly we're gonna be ba pack bagging our bags. Go to PAX Oz, which is coming up in October. So later later in the year. That's a while away. Um, I can buy the flights now and they're super cheap! I save a, a big buck! I save a, a big buck if I buy the flights now, so that's why, that's what I've got, gotten, gotten thinking about it. Pax your bags, everyone! <laughs> yeah, you better, better pax your bags! Um, get a giant metal box tall enough for a void dragon and wide enough for 2,000 points of fairly 40 necrons for like 35 SGD. What's that? What's SGD? Is that like Singapore dollars? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess Singapore dollars. <laughs> um, does Singapore use dollars? 
I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to go to PAX again. I've only, I only, I went last, not last year. I went two years ago. <gasps> I went two years ago. That's so long ago. And I went to a lot of panels. <gasps> Correct. Hey, I, I guess I got it. <laughs> um, Singapore's cool. I've been, I went to Singapore once. We had like a stopover. We had a little holiday in Singapore once on our way to Europe. And it was cool. I like Singapore a lot. Um, I heard it's really expensive to live there though. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I went to PAX two years ago and I went to like as many panels as I could. Like I packed my schedule full of panels. And honestly, a lot of them were kind of kind of cringe. <laughs> Some of them were like, the one, my favorite one, that was really good. Didn't know Paws could sing. Sing Singapore's. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pressing the, I'm not pressing the funny button for that one. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me put my camera back in line first. The, I went to this one really cool one. That was hold on. It was a cosplay panel. And they showed us I cannot find it. I cannot find it. They showed us how to use foam clay and they gave us all these little packets of foam clay and they were really fun. I it was a lot of fun learning to use foam clay. And everyone, while they were like talking and talking about different like techniques and stuff you can do with foam clay, they talked about like additive and subtractive, uh, I don't know, crafting uh, methods. <laughs> and, and while they were talking, everyone was playing with their foam clay. And at the end, they had a little a little competition where everyone showed off their little their little foam clay sculptures the little foam clay creations um and they gave away more foam clay to to the best ones they picked they picked some of their favorite ones um and i i won i i i made i made a little dinosaur head i don't have it anymore but i made a little dinosaur and i gave it a little teeth and i gave it a little tongue i'll, I'll be proud of it <laughs> and i got a whole bucket of foam clay. I got a hundred and fifty grams of foam clay. Ultra lightweight. And I still haven't used it yet. It's been two years and I still haven't used it. I hope it's still okay. Like it looks like it's fine and it's still like very squishy when I squeeze the container. But I thought it could be fun someday to, to try use this on stream. I don't know. Um, one thing I want to try making is like a mask. I feel like that would be a good application for foam tray. Foam tray? Foam clay. <laughs> Sculpting like a, a cool looking mask thing. Rise to one third of the original weight. What? This 150 gram tub is actually 50 grams? Oh my god, this is hard. No, it actually stays like soft and like flexible, which is really cool. Um, foam clay, you got the. Oh, how do you use it? You just. Sculpt with it. <laughs> the advantages of foam clay. I don't know it was two years ago <laughs> that I went to the, the panel. <gasps> oh no, there's a hole in my foam clay. Is that, did that? Did I do that now? Oh no, I guess we're gonna have to do it next week. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to stream it next week. Uh, tune in next week when we when we do foam foam clay sculpting stream. <laughs> um, you know what? I may as well open it at this point. Use for bases? Oh, I could use for bases, yeah. I'm gonna see. Oh! Oh, it kind of smells. <laughs> I think it, it's still sculptable. I think it's hardened a little bit. Oh, it smells- it smells like glue. <laughs> Emergency foam clay stream! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, smell, it smells like PVA glue. Ugh. It smells like... It smells like a wet fart. Stick your finger in it! ASMR. <laughs> Probably 
Probably because it's mostly made of it. Oh, yeah. Oh god, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not suspicious. <laughs> anyway, probably I, I don't know what it's made of. It's it's such a it's such a funky thing. It's a, it's a funky it's a funky sculpting material. I don't know. Um. You, it's good for cosplaying because it stays flexible. Like it's it's foam, but you can sculpt it as opposed to like regular foam that you buy like in sheets, and you have to like cut it and like build layers and stuff. But this way you just sculpt it, and it stays and it's like foam when it dries. <laughs> you know you don't have to do whatever chat tells you to. Wrong. Anyway, phone clay stream next week. <laughs> um, join the Discord if you want to keep keep in the loop with um, what's going on. And <laughs> I'm gonna be sticking all of my fingers into it next week. We're gonna be sticking right into 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 that into that foam clay. Oh yes, oh yes, we're gonna be sticking right into that. <laughs> yes, don't stick your finger at it again. Don't do what we say. All right. Okay, I'm not gonna do it again. That was really gross. <laughs> it's weird. It like doesn't stick to your hands like clay does either, because it's like foam, right? Like it, it, it feels like damp. But there's like nothing on your fingers. It's really weird. Uh, but it's also very cool. Anyway, okay. Um, <laughs> join the Discord, follow me on Instagram. Uh, you should check out my affiliate links. If you haven't checked out my affiliate links, yeah, you should check out my affiliate links. I have affiliate links to Gab Games and Vault Games and Chronicle Cards. If you want to shop at any of those stores, you should use my affiliate links. It costs you nothing extra. Um, and I get money. So you don't get anything more but I get everything so it's a good deal <laughs> just like your mom Damn. you check out my affiliate links in the description below and I have merch you should check out my merch or you can become a member for one dollar a week did you know that <gasps> the members of this stream got to vote on what the stream was this week on the poll we had um, either uh, and, um, no, I forgot what the other option was. <laughs> mm, something clearly less interesting than assembling a dragon without instructions. <laughs> uh, it was, it was, it was. Can, can I, can I see this post? Hold on, it's not letting me, it's not letting me look at the poll. Oh, there we go. Rainbow Railgun. That's it. Um, so the option was to either paint a giant rainbow railgun for my towel or to assemble the dragon for that instruction. And uh, the members chose the dragon option. That's what we did. So you can become a member for $1 a month. That means for $1 you get to vote on what? On four streams. Because I do a stream every week. For $1 you can vote on four streams. That's so many. Plus you get like cool emotes and stuff. <laughs> that's it that's it and yeah i'll see you i'll see you next week and i'll see you on the discord of course if you're on the discord i enjoy seeing everyone's minis and funny cats especially funny cats and yeah. okay <laughs> good night bye I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you for watching the stream.